at least we were able to get two females, one with eggs, and then of course the giant bull iguana right here. This guy is just here to just straight dominate. Look at that dewlap. So close to her house. This is not a zoo. This is not a pet store. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If you had these iguanas living in your backyard, digging holes and on top of your roof, what would you do? Today is an off day. Everybody's got stuff to do. It's blazing hot. It's kind of jacked up. So I'm actually going to one of my jobs right now. Oh my gosh. We got a lot of lizards out right now. This is going to be perfect. All right, we are here and we're locked and loaded. We got the AEA Challenger 25 Cal Pro Edition, AKA the elephant gun. I like this thing because it's got a long trunk and it sneezes, hard sneezes like an elephant. Oh my gosh, we got big ones out right now. All right. All right. So this rifle obviously has its pros and cons. The pros are, it's got a lot of power. The cons are is the cocking is not the best. That's the, that's the cons. Easily. It's got that, it's got that click. This is wild. Super wild. We got a bunch of them right here. We got a lot of questions for this guy. whacked a couple of them let's go get them like i said guys i'm always trying to test new stuff for you guys here goes one we got some fallout guys this is a nice one right here this one still might have precious eggs the cargo Right here. Three shots, three dead iguanas. I love it. Customers love it. Taking care of business, y'all. Yes, sir. We're using, like I said, the elephant gun is a beast. You guys see it right there. It's got a long trunk and it sneezes hard, if you know what I'm talking about. Hey! Yeah, so a lot of you guys want to know, what do I do on my days off? I got a confession to make. There are no days off. Every single day, I got uh, assignments, I got responsibilities, I got iguanas, I got editing, I got invoices, I got emails, I got meetings, I got a lot of stuff. There are no days off, guys, at this point. All right, so we're gonna look around this area. You guys seen the elephant gun put in some work. I'll show you guys the iguanas here in a second, but I'm looking to see if I see any more. All right, we have done a hell of a job out here. What I mean is we've removed over 300 iguanas from this one property right here. Got a lot of small ones right here. We're gonna get some traps. Matter of fact, we gotta, we gotta call Jessica at Iguana Solutions and I'm gonna buy a couple of her traps. They're really, really awesome. And we can set them over here, fill it with some fresh fruit and hopefully a bunch of iguanas will come and we can be catching them left and right. So it's pretty sweet. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. That's a first. It's because you put a mango in there, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Never huh. saw that before. All right. Trapped a little. 
little dragon in here. Going after that mango. Let's get into that season, y'all. So even on my days off, like I said, I still have to go to work. Um, right now I'm going to one of my client's house, uh, sweet lady, having iguanas living on her roof. She lives in this, like, they have like a private pond on their property. I have permission from all the neighbors to go on their properties, clean up the iguanas, basically take all the iguanas from the lake. Uh, the iguanas are a rising problem in this area because they're living actually in the roofs and in the structures themselves. So. Uh, they basically, they're, they're hiring me for the, the removal of the invasive species, but also uh, preventative measures so iguanas don't start nesting in their house and literally take it over. So it, it, it might seem like a fairy tale, far fetched story, but it is far from being a fairy tale. It's truth. So we are here right now. You're just going to just check in. It's really hot. Uh, I noticed that the iguanas usually come out here later parts of the day. Right now is 90 degrees out here. It is beaming. But I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take a look and see what I can find. All right. Okay, that did not take long at all. We have a bunch of them out. Just camouflaged. Right there in the grass. He got hit, he ran off over here somewhere. We got two big ones over there. We'll come back and look for him in a second. Let's reload. We're gonna go uh, confront those big ones. Those guys look massive. All right guys, we have another one across the way. We got two of them. We're gonna angle ourselves a little bit better. And we're gonna see if we can take him out with this elephant gun. All right, we got two down over there. Another big one just popped out. That's got the gun right there. He was here. Where did he go? Got him. We got it. Do over here at the Custy's house. See them holes? Hole, hole, trying to find areas to dig. It's, it's insane. I was talking to my customer 15 years ago. There wasn't a single iguana out here. Estimated population, somewhere in the range of maybe a thousand of them. Thousand. We're only seeing big ones. Just imagine all the babies and juveniles that we can't see. My client, she's like, super like afraid of these iguanas and she even wanted to get a rifle but this is a little old lady and like some you know not saying she can't have one but you know there are some technicalities with these tools i was letting her know that and obviously you know you want a good piece it comes at a decent price not everybody has an extra you know five six hundred dollars laying around but I told her, don't worry about it. We signed a contract where I'm out here for like three months, a set price, take out as many iguanas as possible. So I'm gonna live up to that. Gotta have some gloves out here, man. These things are effing me up. 
effing me up, guys. The scratches. Oh. That's cold water. Kind of take the sting off of it. Alright, guys, we've got a big one around here. Let's see if he's still there. Yeah, he's right there. He's in the bush. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes. That's what we're looking for. Massive alpha male. Woo. Okay. There goes the other one that we got too. Yep. A silly guy didn't make it. But no, you see, we got them right there, one shot. But since we're using the atomic pellets by FX, this is what we're able to recover right here. Bad. At least we are able to get two females, one with eggs, and then of course the giant bull iguana right here. This guy is just here to just straight dominate. Look at that dewlap. This is massive. So it's right on her house. This is not a zoo. This is not a pet store. This is her backyard. And she obviously feels the type of way, feels the type of way of having these dragons living in her yard and digging holes in her ground and in her roof. So drop a comment. If you had these iguanas living in your backyard, digging holes and on top of your roof, what would you do? Let me know. It's your friend, Raj. All right, we are off. You've seen it right there. That's some epic stuff, man. It's hot. One thing I realized, quick pro tip, have a cooler with you. Ice, water, Gatorade, Powerade. Also, you see a buff, a shirt, or a buff, wear it on your neck. Before you even go out in the field in this 100 degree weather, soak it with some water. Prevent yourself from overheating from the start. That's prevention, all right? It's very important, because you come out here, within an hour, two hours, that sun beating on your neck, your body's overheating, you're not even realizing the heat exhaustion is taking place. You can get a heat stroke out here. You can ask the pros, it happens, all right? And we have to evolve, we have to adapt to the climates and the elements that we're working in.